Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is John RMS aka Ace Bullion and today I have another fantastic video for you. Uh, again it's brought to you and sponsored by uh, The Silver Trader. So please go over check out his uh, his details which are will be listed in my description and uh, have a good uh, you know peruse through uh, his website. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for doing that because uh, there's a lot of exciting things and, you know, really, really cool things on offer. So, what do I have here today for you? Well, it's this coin. Now, full disclosure, the minute I seen this coin, I have fallen in love with it. Not for me, though. Now... I, I've fallen in love with this because I think that my boys will absolutely go nuts over it. My boys are both mathematicians. Very, very good. They compete. They enjoy it. Well done. I think that's a bit geeky, but I support them. <laughs> I mean, as a parent, I'm proud and, you know, everything else. Do I wish they could be better at sports? Of course I do. <laughs> But at the end of the day, uh, this will probably get them further in life than sports. Okay, moving on. I had my little giggle, had my little laugh, and uh, they actually are pretty good. So, what do I have here? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to say one more thing. I've told the silver trader that I want another one of these. So, not only am I keeping this one, before I even go into it, I bought a second one. So, the next time he has a, a batch of silver coming my way for reviews, and there's a couple of those already that are coming my way at some point that um, I've also bought, but I want to review as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> here we go. All right. Let's slowly zoom in ease into this here because this is quite important we can see here it's 2020 and i'm gonna pull back and we're gonna go to three times magnification okay now it's one ounce it's a 2020 three nines <gasps> solomon islands but with queen elizabeth ii now before we go over i always do this with you know the queen she has her crown, her earrings, no jewels. And actually, depending upon how, she, how the light hits it, quite a nice face, really. I will give them that. This is quite a nice face. Uh, and the details, let's just zoom straight in really close here. I bet you never thought you'd get this close with the queen. I'm only... 11.2 times magnification at the moment, but look at Queenie there. I think, yeah, she's quite charming. Ah, you can see the double chin. You can see the double chin. Oh, I've probably just got myself into a lot of trouble. All right, let's uh, let's zoom back out here, guys, and see see what we can find all right so Solomon Islands Queen Elizabeth II three nines fine silver IRB yes so what do we have well, we have what appears to be a slightly and gently readed coin I would say almost actually you know what that's a smooth edged coin or, well, I don't see a face value on here so and I, I think this might be uh, I don't know we'll see but here we go for your enjoyment during these tough times I'm gonna sing are you ready block your eardrums if your dogs holler, I'm sorry. 3.14159. This is pi followed by... Okay, I'm going to stop. There you go. That's enough. Yes, there we go. We have a superb, superb, superb 
coin here. Now we have three amazing, um, you know, historical uh, scientists and mathematicians of their time. And in fact, probably of any time, but uh, three that will be forever immortalized. And of course, there we have here the symbol of pi. That's the symbol here. It's not some you know Chinese symbol. It's uh, the symbol of pi, 3.14. They could have put the whole thing down. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but yeah, 3.14159. This is pi followed by. Uh, but yeah. So let's have a look here. We have another triangle, and people say that's a conspiracy and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. In the background, you have l pretty much almost every digit, I think, that follows within pi. And we have the names of the, uh, and it goes, by the way, left to right, almost, I think. On, yep, uh, yep, left to right. So there we go. Sorry, I could recognize a couple of the faces. That's why I knew. Right, so we have Ludolf van uh, Kuller, Archimedes, and William Otterit. Right, this guy, Rudolf, off on your left-hand side, okay? Why is he famous? He is the one who put together the category to about 35 places. So, although I can say you know, 3.14159, which is only six digits. Um, and if I go through my head, I could, and the rest of the song for that, uh, I could probably get to maybe 15, 20, okay? Um, then, let's, we'll move him away. Because Archimedes, I mean, why is pi so important with Archimedes? Well, they, they call it uh, this equation, the, um, you know, the Archimedes constant. Uh, yeah, so therefore, uh, Archimedes is kind of a bit like Dyson in a lot of ways. <laughs> Took a lot of great scientists and then used a lot of stuff. But anyway, moving on, I mean, he, he really did do a great job and... Uh, they named it after him a bit. Kind of cheating. I mean, hey, most things were stolen back in the days. So this guy put it down to, uh, which is Ludolf, uh, Ludolf, put it down to 35 places. He put it as a constant. And over here, we have the famous William Otterit. And, of course, he's the one who made... And is the one who had used the symbol for pi. So there you go. So you could thank him when you see that sign and you're doing a, um, you know, a math test or whatever you may be doing. So that's where you have all of that. Interesting stuff. Do I think this coin has everything going for it? Well, let's be honest here. We have... Some really cool things. Let me zoom out a tiny bit, guys, right? I just say a tiny bit. I wasn't expecting that much. Oops. Hit the wrong button. All right. So we have some really high mirror finish in the background, followed by a tiny... I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit here. So we got the mirrored finish background, okay? We then have uh, some glossy but matted figures and then it goes to very matted and then again you get the gloss you know the reflective mirror finish the queen on the oops this is american I always have to do this the queen on the front looks spectacular actually this is one of my favorite queens i'm glad they didn't put a pearl necklace on or whatever and i know that has double meaning by the way in america so please 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 let's just forget that okay um but yeah i'm glad they didn't put her her necklace on um why else am i excited about it well there's five thousand mintage that's it now where does this coin come from 
scratch, scratch, scratch. Believe it or not, Atmax. So, yeah, that's right. So that is another super cool feature and one that I am excited about. Just look at that, look at... <laughs> yeah, I like it a lot. To me, this is super cool. And as a gift for my boys, I will be buying another one um, of these. In fact, as I said, I've already told Silver Trader uh, that I am going to be buying one. Uh, so to make sure that he includes that in my next parcel. Um, oops, hey, that's cool. Didn't realize I could have that effect on it. Just having a look here, just notice that. Trying to work on if that's actually a feature of him or if that is a scratch. I think that might be a scratch, but I'm okay. I don't, I'm not that bothered. Um, again, it, it's only when you seriously have things into a magnification. To give you an example of magnification, this is realistically what you are looking at. If you really want to get technical let's say you have really great eyesight that's what you're going to be looking at that's it and then as you start to zoom in and start to look at things it goes insanely you know detailed so what are your thoughts what are your views the coins that i featured recently which one has been your favorite in one of the videos, I'm actually going to show you which coins I actually kept. Um, now, I have plenty of other videos to come, but I also have more silver on the way. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing off some of that. I'm not quite sure when some of it may arrive, but we try to limit the entire shipping back and forth. Because quite frankly, I don't want Martin's... Uh, or the silver traders uh, germs and he doesn't want mine and that's how it works so <laughs> anyway what is your thought on pie hmm apple strawberry lemon meringue or is this silver coin worth it anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it have a great day wherever you are as always, be safe, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye for now.